from? Your past is a gift. Okay, so I wanted to touch more on how the bully is created up here first, before it even manifests out in that world of, of it having a face or a name that's constantly taunting you and making you feel bad. Okay, that's outside of you. But inside of you, you are already focusing on the fact that you are not something. Whether it's you're not strong enough, like those athletic kids that you see out there that look so strong and they look so wonderful and they look so happy, you're not that. Or you're not attractive, you know, because with that comes a certain confidence or we seem to think, you know, that a certain confidence comes from how we look, you know, so you may feel you're not attractive enough. You may feel that you're not smart enough. Somewhere inside of you, you've already decided that you're different in some way and that you're not good enough in some way. You've already decided that. So this is, these are the thoughts that are going on in your mind all the time, that you're not something. And so you go out into the world with these thoughts of not being good enough in some way and you're worried all the time that someone's going to notice it, someone's going to see it. You're going to get picked on because you're different in this way or that way or... Think about it. I want you to really, 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 because I'm here to help you, but you need to be honest with yourself. You need to really sit down with yourself and think. I think of myself when I think of myself when I look at myself in the mirror what do I think of myself and my thoughts more you know you've got the the weights here like the scales okay now when you think of yourself are the scales tipped to the side of all the negative things you think about yourself or is it tipped to the side of it being more positive you know all the things that you are all the things that you are good at because for a moment, just one moment, okay? Okay, you can think about all the things that you're not, that you're not good at, or that you're not good enough in some way. When you measure up, when you're comparing yourself to those around you, okay? Because this is where the problem starts, that we are too busy comparing ourselves to others. And we're not that, and we're not that, and we're not that. You're too busy comparing yourself to what's around you, to those around you. That you're not looking at what you actually are. You're too busy with the what you're not, if you like. All the things that you're not, that make you different. And unfortunately, we live in a world that doesn't like different. They don't want you to be different. They want you all to fit into this little box and just live a nice quiet life. Don't make any ripples. Okay, that's, that's society. They sell you all this stuff of what beautiful is, what beautiful looks like, what handsome looks like, what strong looks like. You know? But they don't embrace different, being different being unique no one talks about it and we are all different we are all unique all of us are different as many videos and you know that I've created before that talk about that we're supposed to be different so you can go back to look at all of those because I wanted to stick to the actual bully and how the bullies created because it's created up here first and it's because you don't know who you are. And I'm here to remind you. Okay, we talked about the lion in a previous video. We look at the lion and we think, wow, it's such an amazing presence. It's so intimidating, you know, to be in the presence of a lion. And there's this, you know, this wonderful creature that knows exactly what it is. It knows its place in the world. see it in its eyes how strong this animal looks but who are we 
as human beings. Have you ever stopped to think about that? Of what you are capable of. A human being is capable of creating the most exquisite piece of music. A lion can't do that. We are capable of creating the most gorgeous artwork that can take your breath away or take you to a completely different universe in your imagination. We can write books that take people places in their imagination. You know, we've managed to create this tiny little, the phones that we use now. Have you not stopped to think of how amazing that is? That we can not only talk to people on there, but we can watch videos on there, we can play games on there. Human beings created that, not a lion. And yet we sit here in awe of the presence of a lion and not in awe of who we are, of what we can do, of what we're capable of, if we focused on that and not on the stuff that we're not. If you focus on what you love most, focus all your heart on it. Keep your focus on that. Keep it there. You know? Mankind has been able to send men to the moon. No other creature on the world, in this world, can do that. A lion cannot send another lion to the moon. Think of all the things that we went through just to do that. Man did that because someone in their mind focused just on that. That's all they wanted to do. That. And that's how focused you have to be. Instead of focusing on all those things that you're not, all those things that make you feel bad, instead of focusing on all that, you need to focus inside things that you love. What do you love? What do you love doing? What brings you joy when you think about it as something you could be doing for hours and you'd be happy doing that for hours? It can be riding a skateboard. It can be, I used to like roller skating so I used to spend hours doing that. But it was fun and I enjoyed it and I was focusing on learning this new, you know, uh, I wouldn't call it a sport, but this new activity. Did things that brought me joy. And that's what you need to learn to do, to let go of all the things that make you feel bad. And start to look at all the things that make you happy. Start to learn who you are inside. Who are you? What do you like? What do you like doing? What do you like listening to? What do you what makes you happy? And start to shift away from all those bad feelings of what you're not, because you're not supposed to be that. Not everyone was brought into the world to be athletic or handsome or good looking or all that outer stuff that means nothing because none of that was what helped man get to the moon. What the astronauts looked like had nothing to do with them being on the moon. <laughs> How attractive or not attractive, nothing to do with. You know, a beautiful piece of music is not created by the most handsome person in the world from in here and it can come from anyone and there are so many other things that human beings are capable of you need to start focusing on that alright my darlings I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video okay bye for now